looked at a number of different hadiths from the Prophet, may God's peace and blessings be upon him, as well as some verses from the Quran. In this session, we'll be looking at another hadith, which is from Abu Huraira, in which he quotes the Prophet, may God's peace and blessings be upon him, as saying, لَأَنْ يَحْتَطِبَ أَحَدُكُمْ حُزْمَةً عَلَى ظَهْرِ خَيْرٌ لَهُ مِنْ أَنْ يَسْأَلَ أَحَدًا فَيُعْطِيَهُ أَوْ يَمْنَعَهُ If one of you were to cut a bundle of firewood and carry it on his back, then sell it to earn his living, it would be better for him than begging from someone who may or may not give him. So in this hadith, the Prophet, may God's peace and blessing be upon him, further elaborates on the importance of individual effort. We spoke before about the Prophet Muhammad saying that one of the best ways of earning after a blessed sale was that of a man or woman earning from the sweat of their own brow or from the efforts of their own hands, individual efforts. In this hadith, the Prophet, may God's peace and blessing be upon him, stresses the importance of not earning one's wealth through begging. That one, even to take a lowly job as cutting firewood or cutting wood and carrying the bundles of wood on one's back, selling those bundles, and then living from that effort, it is much better than begging others who may or may not give, meaning you put yourself in a position of being refused, an embarrassing situation, etc. This is not pleasing to God. When a young man came to the Prophet, may God's peace and blessings be upon him, and asked for permission to beg, he refused him. He got him an axe or gave him money to go and buy an axe and go and chop firewood and go and sell it. And there are many occasions in which he has informed the Ummah that one who begs without just cause will come before Allah with no skin on his face or her face. So begging from an Islamic perspective is fundamentally haram. It is not an acceptable way of life. Some people in countries have made begging a way of life. It's easy. It doesn't require as much effort. You can find others in other countries making it a business. On Hajj, you even have people who will pay to have their bodies deformed, arms, legs, and they will come on Hajj because they know people who are going to make Hajj are very generous. They will give when they see people who are in need. So they will set themselves in key areas where the pilgrims have to pass, and there they would be sitting, lying, whatever, begging. And during the Hajj, they would get large amounts of money. Some people would even hire them and bring them over to do that, provide them the means to make hajj, pay them something, and they collect. It has become a business. And it's something from the Islamic perspective as being something which is considered to be evil. The Prophet, may God's peace and blessing be upon him, had actually given some cases. He said begging was only allowed if one was following up on somebody else's responsibility. Somebody else had a responsibility, person died, they left the family behind, and you have taken on the responsibility of trying to help that family. So you beg in order to try to help out that family. This is permissible. Also, if a calamity has taken place, this is a tragedy, recent tragedy, for example, in Nepal, Many thousands of people have lost their lives. People are now homeless. And so under those circumstances, a person who may normally have been able to look after himself or herself 
is now forced into the streets begging. You know, you find uh, people, for example, in Syria suffering from the war have ended up in the situations of begging. Or people who are just in poor areas, they're in particularly poor areas, and they themselves are poverty stricken. Such people having no chance, no means to provide for themselves, beg. And once they are able to get themselves back up on their feet, may be allowed. The Prophet Muhammad went on to say, begging under other than these three conditions, O Qubaysa, because he was speaking to a companion by the name of Qubaysa, is haram, that is, is forbidden, and the consumption of haram. It is forbidden to take it. The act of taking it is forbidden. And what one eats from it, what one earns for oneself from it, is also haram.